All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And you know what? I, I've, I've been giving you a lot of ultimate, uh, I've been giving you a lot of rugged phones, but ultimately, folks, I think this is probably, this will probably will appeal to more people. And there's a reason. It's not because it has thermal imaging in the function. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It has a 6.4 inch display, which is AMOLED. That is a huge selling point to today's market. Also, it's 5G. So you got the Dimensity 700 octa-core processor. That's another great selling point. The triple AI camera setup obviously is gonna appeal to the people who love social media. You got a 64 megapixel, a 24 megapixel, and an eight megapixel on the back. You've got a 24 megapixel night vision camera. This isn't something that's new from Doji. We know they bring these night vision cameras out big time. So, but when it comes to cameras, the front camera on here is actually by Samsung. It's a Samsung sensor in there and it's a 16 megapixel camera. So it's pretty decent. But this is a somewhat of a, somewhat of a rugged phone, kinda. Because I'm gonna show you something here in just a second. It's gonna be, it's, it's labeled as a rugged phone, but it was some of the things on here makes it so unique. You've got a 6,000 milliamp hour battery inside with 33 watt fast charging, which is nice. It even supports reverse charging off of that battery. So if you got a, you got some headphones or something that's rugged or just whatever headphones you got with you, plug that Type-C, reverse charge that bad boy. And you know, headphones charge really fast with Type-C. If you have it, some headphones. But you can bop that bad boy onto this and still have another 5,500 milliamps of battery left for yourself, right? So a total of 20 gigs here. But it's that eight gigs of virtual RAM. And I've been using these phones and I've been leaving off that virtual RAM because it's, it's good, but the internal storage speed is not that great. It's UFS 2.2. And I don't know how that affects the RAM situation when you're using that RAM, but I know we want to take things off the phone. It's not the slowest, but it's not the fastest. You know what I mean? So you do have 12 gigs of RAM, which is on point with today's market, but you've got IP68, IP69K, military standard 810H, not G. So, side mounted fingerprint reader, NFC, which supports Google Pay. I mean, again, a lot of the things that people were complaining about about some of these phones in the US not having, Doogee is stepping it up. You know what I mean? So, Gorilla Glass and Android 12. Now, all I did was crack the seal and get the plastic off, but let's take our first look together. And this one comes in a little slide out bag. Okay, okay, here we go. Now, I told you there was some unique things about this phone, uh, but first let's take a look around the, the hardware before we get into the rest of that box. So you got your fingerprint reader here, you got your nice little buttons, little metal buttons there for your volume. You got this sloping design here, because there's something unique about this phone than other rugged phones. And I'm surprised that they did this, and I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Now, here's that camera. That is the uh, thermal camera right there, and you have your other cameras here. And you got a little kickstand here. You want a kickstand, Jay? Yeah, I'm about to show you what's up with that in just a second. But then you got your SIM tray slash SD card slot because these phones come with the SD card slot. And then you've got a little speaker grill up top and then you got your speaker grill on the bottom. You got your Type-C right here. Because they come with Type-C. Doogee's doing it, man. You can't sleep on Doogee is competing, believe it or not. Some people don't want to give them their credit. Now, Jay, what's so unique about this phone? Now remember, this is a Doogee phone. Let me show you. Remember this kickstand right here? Check this out. Remember, Doogee used to give us a lot of cases back in the day. This one comes with a case, and not just any case, a nicely integrated, beautiful case that's rugged too. So boom, sit that joint up like that. I'm Tell me that's not fire. This is different from Doogee, but I'm not done yet. I saw something you can see here. You see, it looks like another sticker on here, right? Yeah, well, check this out. It is. Ooh, wee. And you know what's so unique about this back? It's not plastic, it's actually glass. This is why I said this is like a premium rugged device. Crazy, right? That is why Doogee gave you this case, not just any case. They not slick, they gave you a nice case. We're gonna put this to the side for just a second, but this is officially a glass back, folks. Can you believe that? 
Gucci getting into the premium game. Now, I'll talk about price here in a little bit, but this is a premium rugged device. All specs aside, this is actually a really nice looking device and it's 5G, folks. Seriously, it's only 297 grams in comparison to some other rugged phones that they offer. Now, let's get this bad boy powered up because you know it's got some juice. These Duji phones with these big batteries, they come with the juice. You can see it's labeled here to tell you everything. You know, your power button doubles as a, as a, as a fingerprint reader. And then you got your uh, special button over here to configure however way you want. And then you got your SD card slot and SIM tray and your volume. Let's get this off. Oh, wait, that's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through here. I'm going to start this. I'm going to skip this for now because I want to get into the phone. I'm going to sign into my Wi-Fi real quick. Uh, and I'm telling you, folks, this this I, I love the stock Android thing that they got going on here. It's just it's just good. It's, this is this is this is one of the nicer, if I'm being honest. And I have a lot of doogie phones, folks. I'll get into the box real briefly. Materials, something to clean the screen with, and your fast charger right there. And yes, they give you a fast charger in the box. Isn't that something? <laughs> it's like unheard of in the US. But this hardware, folks, dude, you not slick. This is why they gave you this beautiful case. Because this is a glass back, folks. So I'll wait for this to set up here. Looks like the battery got a lot of juice. This hardware is just beautiful, folks. It feels, this doesn't feel like a rugged phone. And it's probably because of this nice smooth glass back. Love the design here. This is beautiful, man. I'm feeling this. And this is, I'm gonna skip this. I'll sign in a little bit, add my apps. This is all the more reason why a person would probably pick this rugged phone over some of the others. And it's got a glass, like, like a glass or a real thick screen protector already installed. So you're set. I'll skip this for now. You know what? I'll go ahead and put my little pen on there. I always do that same generic pen on doing these. And here we go. So you can unlock with face. And I'll go ahead and do this. Most Doogee phones have face unlock. Let me, let me get off camera just a second. There we go. Just a quick one like that. And then here we go with the fingerprint. I'll go ahead and do this. I love fingerprint readers in the power button because it really screams quick access when you want it to. You don't got to reposition your hand. You don't got to do anything, man. Anything. Let's, let's go ahead and I'll add another one later, but you can see the fingerprint readers all set up I'll switch to dark mode too in a second. You know what folks? Oh snap. Look listen um, This is a beautiful freaking display It is an AMOLED display, right? It's oh man, I can't I have other Duji phones and they don't look the blacks don't look this black The screen doesn't look as punchy and vivid like this. Ooh we this is nice. I'll get into that thermal image in just a second. But look at how this one, and this is the difference here. When you long press on this one, you literally get a whole nother setup right here. You got your themes, home screen settings. I'm loving this. And but I, what I, folks, I'm telling you, son, this is going to be the ultimate phone for me when it comes to Doogee products, man. Because out the gate, they're giving me my five, oh man, yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'm pumped. You know, when I do these unboxings, I'm giving you my real world. Look at this. It lets you choose how you're gonna do it. Let's go to default right here so you can swipe up. Booyah! This this is so this is so clean, man. So clean, so clean, so clean. This is it. It is not Friday the 27th. 26, whatever that said. I don't know what that said. Let's get these out of here. The screen is clean. 
This is a beautiful AMOLED display. It's probably hard to catch it on camera, but I'm telling you, it's beautiful. So let's go back here to, to these settings here. So you can see here, I'm gonna go to home screen real quick and show you the rest of the stuff. And you got the easy launcher. You got, you can obviously do by five by five. You got the application quick start style. You got a whole bunch of different things here. Layout, you can lock it. Uh, dock, lock, dock apps, you can do, oh man, this is, uh, okay, yeah. Got your icon size. They're letting you do way more customizations than I've seen on a lot of these doggone phones, man. So let's get into themes. You got themes here. Oh yeah, they they doing it, man. You have so many. Look at this. This is crazy. What are they doing? This is. I'm loving this. They're doing it. They're doing a the doggone thing, man. They're doing it. They are doing it. This is mine right here. I got five across with my round icons. So software right out the gate, man, is is hitting. You got your widgets. Yeah, they 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 doing it on here, man. And this one right here basically doesn't have. It appears not to have any overlays from them. That's really all you're looking at right here. Is no overlays. Yeah. So let's get into settings real quick. First, we'll go there. I'm gonna show you the um. That is where you'll get the thermal imaging, and I'll show you that in a second with that infrared there. App. So let's go into settings. I don't see any bloatware. Normally there's a radio or something on here, and I like that they have radios on there, but this is stock Android right here for real. Look at the setup here. You got your Android Auto, your SIM cards, your mobile network, more connections and settings. Now, the crazy part about this one is I don't see any NFC. It's crazy on such a great phone, man. They didn't do it. Switch to dark mode. We'll do automatic too. Uh, and it will go to uh, got home screen settings. Let's change this right here to 10 and Boom 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 notification light LED there we go and Screensaver Switch screen this is where you can switch this off and on I ain't really a fan of that though I'm not a fan of that So yeah, man, they've done and this one also has no high refresh rate to my surprise I mean this would have been like the ultimate like straight up kill it Man, so let's go to gestures. This is what we rocking with. We rocking with gestures, okay? And you got your sound, loudspeaker still, really loud. Yeah, that's loud. That's loud. You see, you do custom and all these different things here. Um, come on, baby. Uh, and then you got uh, your privacy, your security. I've already set up those. You got your easy key. So this Zello thing right here um, is something that a lot of people, you know, I, I don't. It's an application over like for overseas or whatever. Uh, but I, I normally just turn these to flashlight or something like that. But what I'm going to do now is switch this double click. I'm going to turn it to the thermal, uh, the inf the uh, rail. If you let me, if it was down, it should be down here. There it is, right there. So when I double click that, um, it's gonna go on right there. So folks, when I tell you this screen is beautiful, this is a beautiful freaking screen. This doesn't even feel like a rugged phone. It's so premium. It feels like, a, it feels like there's a case on another phone, but really the case is here. You're not slick, dude. And it ain't really, I don't think they're advertising right now this has a glass back, but it feels good, man. It feels good. So you got your battery here. There you go. I don't like that it's like that because it shows it um, inside. The, you've heard me say that a million times. It shows it inside the battery. I'm just not really a fan of that. So I keep it turned off. I really have a clean battery icon up there. That's just me. But your system here, let's go to system and let's see. Uh, wait, that's not where I wanna go. I wanna go down to about. See if we can get, here we go. Android 12 uh, and how much of this is being used by the system, 11 gigs. So 11 gigs of that 12 gigs is the system. And after that, folks, you are, you are set. Let's see if there's a system update. Why does it need to, why is, I don't never understand why it said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm tripping right now. Optimized thermal imaging stability. Yeah, it's down, it's down, it's 30 megabytes. So that's a, a real quick download, 30.48 fixes known issues or whatever. I'm gonna let this reboot too and, and 
and get this in, in here and have it installed. If it does it quickly, I'll go ahead and do it in this video because I want you to be able to, I'm gonna get to that thermal imaging because that is something that's a huge selling point more than likely for this phone because why? Because it just it is what it is. That's something that they're advertising on the phone that, uh, and you know, I guess what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get out of there and I'll go ahead and go to the, and I'm gonna double tap here. And now we've got this right here where you can see thermal imaging. I'm gonna put my hand in front of this and you'll see the thermal imaging here uh, of the device once it gets going. There you go. You can see. Check that out, folks. Woo! Yep, I'm looking pretty good there. I'm looking pretty good. Yep, I'm looking good. But that's the thermal imaging, so you can do temperature and you can do everything like that. You can adjust everything on here. You even have a pro mode there. But that's the thermal imaging, man. That's the thermal imaging. It's a cool little trick, but that's just what it is. You can change these different uh, ones here. You can do this kind. But that's the thermal imaging, man. These naming, jungle, glory, hot, what the freak? <laughs> All right, medical, how about just medical? <laughs> so, so weird, you can see here. Sorry if I was off frame a little bit, but that's the thermal imaging. Something I probably will will never use if I'm being honest. I won't I won't use that. It's installing it. So let's jump into the camera real quick because I got I'm gonna have to sign in. Uh, but this is probably one of the best Doogee experiences I've had in quite some time. You got your AR, excuse me, your AI, your HDR. We'll go to settings here, and you've got your. I always do the brand marking on it for pictures. You got your picture size here. 64 megapixel by default. I love that it's set there. Uh, Anti-flicker, volume controls, camera mute, touch system. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's go ahead and go to video. Let me go to settings here. And let's check the video. Goes to 2K. I don't know why they do they, they do their cameras like that, but a lot of their cameras shoot at the highest 2K. That's just how they do it. It is what it is. I, I mean, hey, what what do you do? What can you do? So you've got 2K, Full HD, HD, and VGA. And I guess it definitely depends on the, the market that, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're dealing with. But here's your, because this would have a 4K camera if it was something coming out in the US. There's your night vision. You got your beauty mode. I always tell people to turn that off. Completely get rid of beauty mode. Just get rid of beauty mode. Turn it off. You got your UHD right here. So you can take some high res ones. And then you got, in here more, you've got uh, night mode, GIFs, portrait, pro mode, panorama, slow motion, time lapse, and intelligent scan. So we're gonna go to a photo here. I'm gonna grab something. That is a very quick shutter time. The processing time was decent. And that is, that folks is a really nice photo. That's a really nice, you got a little bokeh action happening up there because it focused down here on the Gravistar logo. Pretty nice. Got your little branding down there. Uh, I'm feeling this. I am feeling this to the fullest. This has got to be one of the sexiest rugged phones to hit in my office. I mean, I'm, I'm loving it. I mean, and in the fact that they tried to sneak in here and give you this case, if you didn't know about this phone, some people probably would have thought this was a part of the phone. They would have thought, because you can't tell, that's, that's built so well can't even tell that this is it comes off. But I did my research. Fingerprint reader? Ah, you thought I forgot about you. Gives you a little vibration. Now let's check the um the um there we go. I was trying to get my word <laughs> facial recognition. Beautiful. Case is case just the case just feels like a part of the phone. Perfectly cut out for everything. I want to watch a movie. Booyah! It's up like that and, and it's on. So, man, I am telling you, this is got to be one of the most beautiful phones that's a rugged phone because it has an AMOLED display. The the infrared, the, the, the thermal imaging, some, yeah, it's just a toy, a trick to show people. I get it. It's, it's cool and everything. 
but the camera seemed really nice and qual and quality. Battery's got 6,000 milliamps. AMOLED display, rugged phone with a glass back. I'm loving it. Let me see if I see, did I see? Oh, it does have NFC, my bad. It Okay, I'm tripping, it does have NFC. Wait a minute, that doesn't, um. why doesn't it show under here? SIM cards, more connections. NFC, it's, it's under connect, okay. My bad, so if you're all the way through this video and I said it doesn't have NFC and you waited, it does have NFC. So glad I caught that, yes. Cause I saw any I saw the NFC tag up there and I just didn't think about it. But there it is, does have NFC, boom, there we are. That, that just makes this the ultimate, ultimate device, man. And the fact that it comes with this beautiful case, you can just pop that joint off. Ooh wee. And you get your 5G going on with NFC and this beautiful glass back. This is a smooth phone too, so it feels okay. This this gets like the ultimate rugged phone stamp of approval from your man Jay at this very moment. Full detail unboxing, the links down below. So the final thing I want to talk about, it comes in black and it comes in what's called silver. So basically this will be silver and this entire back will be silver. It's beautiful though. And drum roll the price, $749 US, but there's a code I got in the description down there where you put in V20 Pro and you get $180 off. This ships on June 1st. So at the recording of this video, this isn't officially out yet, but to grab that 180 bucks off, you better hurry. And this has got to be probably one of the best rugged phones I've ever brought to this channel. I, I, I mean, I do a lot of rugged phones and this one is like the ultimate. It's 5G, it works 5G in the US. It's got Google Pay services. It's got all the customizations. It's really stock Android with no overlay from Doogee. They did it right. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is freaking beautiful. Doogee, you did your thing this time. Doogee V20 Pro, oh man, 1,000 meters on the thermal imaging too, so that means you can stand far away from people and up to 1,000 meters and boom, you'll, you'll get some thermal imaging. So pre-orders are live right now to record this video. Grab yours and get 180 bucks off. I mean, this is a win, folks. And Doogee has brought some killer phones out. To me, this is the ultimate right here, man. I'm, I'm sold on this one. It's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed NFC. Thermal imaging, 12 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of virtual RAM, uh, 256 gigs of storage, Type-C, reverse charging. I mean, I could go on and on. I mean, this is it, right? All right, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.